by human beings. So uh, there's force sensing uh, in the arms and joints so that if it encounters anything just like that, the Roomba, the, uh, Roomba robot vacuum cleaner, it backs off and doesn't, and, and it'll just keep working, unlike a normal industrial robot. If it encounters a stop, it shuts down and you have to start all over. So, so um, the first mass produced scientist robots that work with people, um, help some people be more productive. The robots are intuitive. Some of the intuitive features in Baxter uh, are the, the rings. Uh, if you notice the black, can y'all see the black around the, the crown back there? There's little rings around this right here. What that is is sonar. And the sonar can actually detect how far away something is from the robot. It causes it to do things like stop or slow down or uh, other things like that. So it's part of the intuition. So it knows, it's aware of its environment and knows how far anything is from it. Okay. Uh, the other thing is it's also aware of itself. The main focus is uh, of what the arm is. It also, if, I, if I'm doing something, if I touch one of the navigators, it'll turn the screen for me. So right now, it's, it's picking these up and placing them in a certain array over here. And at the same time, it's, it's using a vacuum, picking these in an order that I call it the pit, and placing them up, upside down pyramid. 